Hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a girl talk. Get ready with me. I love these videos. They're probably one of my favorites to film. It was funny. I'm gonna get into everything obviously, but it was funny because my spring haul like favorites whatever a lot of y'all were like you were glowing you were so happy like it did, and I was like because I legitimately was so excited to talk about it and I feel like you can see that in certain people's videos and everything you can just see their genuine like excitement for whatever they're talking about or I don't know it's a whole thing so anyways um the lighting is not great today we're just pushing through they're doing this weird thing right now. Um, back when the snowstorm happened, our we're in like a townhome strips basically, and one side their pipes burst, and then on this side somebody's pipe burst, the fire suppressant line, and they're like running water through it, but it sounds like the weirdest noise. Anyways, it's like a gurgling stomach, but in a wall. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, um, I'm excited to talk to you guys today, so hopefully the lighting isn't terrible. We're going to get through it. We're going to talk about podcast, shows, stuff, all the things. Let's get into it. I got my water. Um, starting with what skincare I have on underneath. You guys, I picked this up, I want to say like maybe a little over a month ago and I'm done with it. Like I literally have the tiniest bit left. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I've really, really liked this. Um, I definitely will pick this up again. I'm, I, I really liked it. It was, it's, it's really lightweight. I pretty much put it on before I put on any other serum. Um, it's kind of got a sticky feeling at first, but it really absorbs into the skin. I feel like it just hydrates and doesn't moisture like it really hydrates so anyways i have that on i really enjoyed it i'm going to be repurchasing it by the way i just saw my girl taylor post an empties video would you guys like to see empties videos again i mean i love it i'm trying to like find a, a balance between like my old content and like what i'm into now but i'm still into some of the same things that were like my old content like empties like favorites videos i freak clearly i love their favorites videos um outfits of the week i'm still gonna do those not as regularly because honestly a lot of people don't like them or they're just not not very highly viewed um but that doesn't again it doesn't matter about that um i just want to make content that people want to see so i'm still gonna sprinkle in some outfits of the week um and then what else was i oh I'm gonna do a mascara showdown. So excited about that, you guys. Um, do y'all wanna see like product reviews still? What? Let me know, I don't know. Okay, let's get into the rest. I have this Dr. Jart Peptiden um, Radiant Serum. Again, I'm using this. I'm probably a, like a quarter of the way through. Um, I like it, it's good. Um, I feel like with serums, it's really hard, brightening serums, it's really hard to tell if they're making a huge, difference um right off the bat i do struggle with dark spots so um i feel like you have to use products for a while and i haven't clearly been using that for very long i have my confidence in a cream by it cosmetics i've gone through so much of this i love this stuff it's very 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 thick i'm probably gonna have to swap it out well probably not swap it out i'll probably finish that up and then we'll move into a lighter weight moisturizer for the summer i finished up my murad eye cream and now i am trying the lancome genifique this is really nice uh, I don't, I mean, again, eye creams, it's hard to tell. It hasn't irritated my eyes. That's a big thing. A lot of eye creams will irritate my eyes. I have very sensitive under eyes, so I like a thick cream, but I don't, if it has too much in it, it will tend to irritate underneath my eyes. And this one has not done it so far. It's very smooth consistency, just very lightweight, but hydrating at the same time. It's not super hydrating but it's lightweight and smooth and goes on really well underneath makeup. So that's my, um, what I got underneath. Now let's get into what's going on over top. Everything will be listed down below, pretty much all the same products. I do have a new powder, um, cause I ran out of my old powder and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a wing today cause I've been rocking a little bit of a brown 
winged shadow situation. Um, if I'm looking over here, it's because my mirror's over here. Um, <clears throat> but anywho, let's get into it, you guys. I, I hate to admit this, but I fell down the rabbit hole of YouTube drama channels. Like, next level. Kind of crazy. I, um... I got Discovery Plus because I'm obsessed with 90 Day Fiance and and it came free with my um with Verizon so I just got it and I started watching <clears throat> The Onision which I'm pretty sure I talked about I don't know if I talked about this already um but I watched Onision and um that whole genre which I never watched him I had no idea who he was or anything like that um and then it just kind of like fueled my my craziness with all of that and then i started i just started watching what's going on with the whole like tati james charles david dorbrook i don't follow any of those people um shane dawson jeffree star i did follow jeffree star and shane dawson when he was doing his like docuseries and then um uh, obviously I followed Tati for a while, but I don't know. It's just so nuts that whole like realm of of Craziness and you know, I don't know. I feel like the internet is just such a crazy place of like I mean, obviously the People's actions are unexcusable to an extent um, but just like people can tear you down for anything and I like Mm -mm. it's uh, oof, it's hard it's hard anyways it's been nuts i've been going down that rabbit hole of craziness so if y'all are like into that let me know i mean i'm not i typically am not into any of that and it's kind of crazy how much drama there is in the world but how big youtube is it truly reminds me and then it also just like baffles me about like certain content that gets demonetized but then there's like these people on YouTube that are like literally like doing terrible things. It's nuts to me. And I'm curious because I got an email from YouTube about my vlog channel, which is why I mentioned whether I was gonna keep my vlog channel or not, about like demonetizing and potentially like getting rid of it. And I was like, well, I don't wanna like, you know, like lose it. And so I was curious because like, I mean, I stopped posting on that a while ago, but like, are all these people who haven't posted in like years, are they losing theirs? Like, why are they not? And just, are just the small channels losing it? I don't know, but just curious. The one thing I will say I hate about this Cosmetics CC Cream is the packaging. By the end of this, the, the like silver stuff flakes everywhere and it's super annoying. I hope they fix that. Sorry if you can hear the construction outside. But whatever, enough YouTube drama. I want to talk about how happy I was that I posted that podcast video because I got so many amazing recommendations. So if you're into the podcast scene, here we go. Let's talk about um, Orange Tree. Probably one of like the most like cliffhanger freaking um, podcasts ever. Oh, I remember what I was like. I'm like all over the place, clearly too much coffee. Uh, I was talking about the It Cosmetics CC Cream and how um, Elf has come up with one and I'm gonna try it and I'm excited about it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> now back onto Orange Tree. Uh, I Seriously, you guys, I cannot recommend that enough. It's probably one of my, like, I hate saying favorites and like, this podcast, I will say, does a really great job at, like, humanizing the people and realizing, like, that they're real people and you shouldn't just focus on their death. And I don't know. And I feel like it's weird getting entertainment from it. But whatever. It is what it is. So, um, I finished that and it was, like I said, one of the best podcasts. A very long time. I like how it was done. I just like everything about it. It was done by two, two alumni from UT. So... I feel like there was a really close connection with them there too. And it's just, you just don't know. Like I went back and forth. Whew. I went back and forth. If, you, if you've listened to it, then you know why you would go back and forth a million times. And if you haven't listened to it, you need to freaking listen to it. So good. 
Okay, now I am listening to, what else am I listening to on? Um, oh, I listened to What Happened to Holly Bartlett, which again was crazy. Let me know, sound off in the comments at what you think happened, because whew, I don't want to ruin it for everyone because I just feel like that's not nice, but it's, it was really, really good too. So those are the two I've been listening to, and right now I'm listening to um, the one, what's it called, In the Dark, Curtis Flowers, and I've heard it has a really good ending. It's very slow, I will say. It's like not super um, engaging, and I honestly do find myself like not fully into it, and I have to like rewind it and be like, wait, did I miss something? I'm kind of confused, and so, and the story kind of goes all over the place, kind of like how my videos do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's good but I'm not quite fully like into it, into it. I need to keep, I think I need to keep listening, but it is getting better. So anyways, that's what's that. Um, shows, uh, I, I'm getting a lot of people telling me to watch um, Night Stalker on Netflix and I did watch that already, so crazy. And then I also watched the, um, what was it called? The Cecil Hotel or Cecil Hotel, whatever. I watched that, I'm pretty sure I talked about that in a previous video. Um, and then we finished watching Little Fires Everywhere, which was pretty intense, like real intense. Um, watched, I swear to you, it seems like we watch a lot of TV, but we really don't. Um, watched, what did we just watch too? Oh, Tell Me Your Secrets, which was amazing. Just finished that on Amazon. Let me know if you guys have seen that. And if you haven't, you freaking need to, because it is so good. I'm running out of, my shape tape, but I have a bunch on backup. Uh, so that's where we're at with shows. Um, we're currently not watching anything. Um, Cause honestly, I've been like so tired when it comes to bedtime. I think allergies are honestly just ruining my life. Like I feel so congested and exhausted by the end of the day that it's just, Next level. Ooh. Pat this guy under these eyes. Get rid of some bags. Cause I stayed up late last night. And late for me was like 11, I think I stayed up till. Holy moly. Ooh. My dad's coming into town. And Arlo's about to turn one, you guys. Like he is, what's today? Today's the 11th. Um, in four more days, he is 11 months. So we are almost at the one year mark, which is so nuts and so crazy to even believe that like, it's been a year. Um, also, Dallas lifted their like, no mask mandate yesterday. Um, and I mean, honestly, nothing's changed. Everyone's still wearing them. Uh, and I am too, so I don't know. I, I just feel like it's a super, controversial thing and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna broach that subject um because I don't know enough honestly about it to broach it that's that's the biggest thing it's not about like I'm not into talking about like controversial issues or anything like that I just don't know enough to like have to try to educate anybody on on that subject so that's my um two cents on that but I'm just gonna continue to try to be safe for a little family and you know Hopefully, pray for, you know, some normalcy and whatnot. Um, ooh. All right, I feel like I have a dog hair on my face right now. It's right on my ass. Do y'all have that? Oh, I want to talk about this mascara really quick. I got the um, Essence Lash Princess that everyone seems to be raving about. And honestly, I don't like it. Now, I don't hate it for its formula, but it's it like transfers on me. I notice um, like creamy mascaras, like for instance this, for instance the Too Faced Better Than Sex, for instance the, or not for instance, all the, I'm listing all the ones that are do that to me. Um, L'Oreal Carbon Black, Luminous Carbon Black one, does it to me. Um, so yeah, like even if I like the formula or what it does for my lashes, if it freaking like, transfers like transfers meaning like it just like smears not flaky or anything like that it just kind of like 
gets black like goo up here and black down there so and we're just blending our life away blending away we're gonna run some errands today i have to go to target because i need to return the knit blanket that i bought for our bed because it's just not good please don't buy it it looks cute but it's not good so that's a bummer i'm actually really sad about it because i really wanted to like it so i'm still on the hunt for a good one um i wanted to get one of the quilts from casa luna at target but I feel like the lighting in this video is going to be so terrible. I'm so sorry. Um, but they're called, they're listed as heavyweight quilts. Um, and that's the whole thing. We do not want heavy weight, heavyweight quilt. So, uh, I've held off from getting that one because I just, we need something that's lighter weight, especially in these Dallas summers we got coming up here. I'm so excited for summer and spring. I'm like so freaking excited. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I ordered the sconces for our bed as well. So you guys will see an updated um, finalized bedroom situation relatively soon. Oh, I'm trying a new powder because I ran out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm trying the Peach Perfect Too Faced one. It's good, um, no complaints. I mean, it's a powder. It tastes, it's, I, I know I shouldn't say it tastes because I should not be eating powder, and I'm not, but it has, it gets in my mouth sometimes because it gets on my lips and I lick my lips. It tastes like peach. Um, I don't know. I don't notice anything like amazing about it. I kind of like the finish on the Laura Mercier a little bit better at this point, but I'll keep you posted. I have like a huge order that I need to place on Sephora. Um, I'm trying to hold off until the sale because I'd like to get that 20% off, um, which I think is coming in April. I want to say like the first week or something like that in April. So I can definitely wait. I have a bunch of things on my list. Let me share with you what I, what I want to get. Oh my God, my leg is falling asleep. Uh, and these are some of the things, obviously it's going to grow. So, um, some things I want to re-up on are the Dior um, primer, which I love, the Lash Primer. Um, Olaplex number three. I think I have one left, but I want to re-up on that during the sale. Uh, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Love that stuff. Number four Olaplex. Number five Olaplex. And then the Chanel um, Chance uh, Own Tendre Eau de Parfum. No. No, it's the actual parfum. Yeah. Yeah, Eau de Parfum. <laughs> I can't speak French, clearly. Um, so those are some of the ones. And then new stuff I want to try is the Paula's Choice Vitamin C Super Booster Serum, the Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% Peeling Solution, which I've never tried, and then the Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I'm still deciding if I want to get the Urban Decay and the Benefit, but I mean, yeah. that's Those are the things so far on my list that I'm going to be picking up. I'm definitely going to add some more to that list. Um, Ooh, a fuzzy is flying around my life right now. Okay, let's keep going. Whew, so that is the that is what's on um, my wish list so far. But I'll um, keep you posted. And if you want to see like a a haul from there, let me know. Okay, we're good. Let's go into warming up this complexion. I do feel like my makeup has been sitting weird on my face lately. I don't know what's going on with that. Ugh, allergies. So anyways, yeah. So our wall sconces are coming. Um, I think this week I ordered them yesterday. And then I have been trying to get this photo from, um, are these like art pieces? I don't know, wall decor? I don't know if you can call them art. Um, from World Market. And I'll get the email that they're back in stock and like I literally go and they're sold out again. It's crazy. So um, we're holding off and waiting to get those photos and then our bedroom will be pretty much done. We really need to get um, Scott's like office area kind of redone as well. We're still in the process of that and figuring out exactly what pieces we want down there. It's really hard because we know we aren't going to be here for like the long term. Dude, I'm, I'm like seriously starting to subtly notice like 
aging, <laughs> specifically in my eyes. <laughs> um, so we just want pieces obviously that are like, you know, gonna, gonna work in any space and not just here because, you know, we're not planning to be here forever. We are um, not actively looking by any means, but going to start looking for a home out in the suburbs because, you know, we want to be um, closer to like good schools. Not that Dallas doesn't have good schools. We just want to be out towards the, the suburbs and we don't want to do it too late. So that way Arlo, you know, like has friends and whatnot. Um, and there is friends for like school. So that's the plan. We started looking in like Richardson area or like haven't started looking. That's kind of like where we're thinking Richardson. Um, and where else? Flower Mound. Scott really likes Flower Mound. So I don't know. I'm going to do um, a little bit of wing situation. So I'm going to use the chocolate bar palette and I'm going to do just like some, some fun little wingy stuff. You guys, I was rewatching some of my old videos yesterday, which I like never do. When I say never, I never, like I cringe a little. But I was like also like, oh, little Kelly just, you know, finding her way. YouTube has been such a huge, like growing, finding me. I mean, I've definitely lost me through YouTube at times too, gotten caught up in some of this stuff. Um, but it's, I don't know, it was just really, it's really crazy because, because my wings don't match <laughs> at all. But you know what? It, it's gonna be fine, right? No, it's not gonna be fine. <laughs> That's so terrible. <laughs> real life, real life, you guys. I actually like this one, I don't like this one. I think this is actually the shape of my eye that I don't like on this, if you ever have that. I'm just gonna use a little, that's the nice thing about powders, you can just kind of blend it away, make it go away. If you can't tell, I am not a legitimate beauty YouTuber. But, I mean, I'm sure you, you know who to follow for actual beauty advice at this point because it ain't me girl it ain't me looking cray over here but honestly once I get my scare on it'll probably look better <laughs> hopefully who cares we're winging it you know what as long as I think it looks good that's all that matters right not true at all not true at all practice makes perfect I'm gonna keep shutting off on me so annoying I feel like I have dog hair on my face oh oh girl like itchy but you don't want to itch it because you don't want to mess it up okay blush time blush blush i was hoping the other day that i could find um elf's pink passion in the in target but i couldn't i don't know if it's just like an online or if they even sell it anymore i love, used to love that blush um nars it's a dupe for nars desire i believe yeah Woo! this is broken it's seen its fair share of saying it's craziness. I still got some left in it. So I feel like that's my biggest complaint about the NARS packaging is it always breaks right there at the crease. I don't know. I've had it happen to many different blushes, many different blushes, but I've really been loving this Shoe one. It's good. I used to like be somebody who, well, back in my, my makeup days, somebody who would like switch out their blush for like the season. <laughs> I just don't do that anymore. I don't know. Just things change. I mean, you totally can. I used to love doing it. I, blush was probably one of my favorite things. I collected so many blushes and I just loved, loved blush. Oh, how times is, all right. I ran out of storage and had to delete a bunch of videos. And so I think my angle's a bit, <laughs> a bit different now, but we're gonna make it work. So. I'm gonna go in and set it all with my makeup setting spray. I feel like this is a pretty crucial part of my routine. Especially wearing like masks and stuff. It definitely does not prevent transfer, but I feel like not as much transfer, so. Ooh, 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 we'll dry off. 
drinking coffee. Um, my creamer that I literally got on a fluke because they were out of every other creamer is the Cinnabon cinnamon roll creamer. I'll list, I'll leave it. I'll put a picture up here because I don't remember what the actual brand of it is. But it's really actually good. <laughs> Super creamy. I really like it. So besides that, I typically just go with like um, the Starbucks creamers. I really like those. The white mocha is really good. Uh, I've really been trying to like um, be on my, my health kick. So for that, like the whole thing is like obviously had a baby all of that and I'm like trying to get back to um fitting in all of my old clothes and there's just two pairs of jeans that just won't happen and I've accepted it and I'm okay with it because right now my focus is like getting stronger it's like how strong can I get like um I want to see muscle definition I don't really care about the scale I was obsessed with it at first like not obsessed but like I would you know want to see the scale drop and now I like weigh myself every so often but I'm more concerned about like how I look in the mirror like muscles wise like I want to get stronger so I'm not trying to be like you know fitness level whatnot but I don't know I'm really trying to make sure that you know my health is on point and I truly do need to go um get a physical girl <laughs> I need to go get a physical because obviously my mom passed away from having a heart attack. So I'm going to make sure, you know, that I don't, um, and, and it was not, I mean, we didn't expect it like at all. So, um, I want to make sure obviously that, you know, I'm putting my health and all of that in the front forefront of my mind, making sure that, you know, I'm here for forever <laughs> or as long as I can be healthy as I can be for Arlo. And our little family so just letting this all dry so yeah that's something that is on my mind and i need to just get in get blood work taken get my blood pressure all that stuff t tested because it's been so long oh. i am going to make that a priority very soon and if you haven't either let's do it together uh and make sure that you know we in here for the long haul we're healthy, we're thriving. So that's that. Other plans for the channel. I feel like these videos are just like super all over the place. Um, more like cooking content, not just with Scott, but also with Scott, but also like me, quick, easy meals. He obviously does the fancy ones because it's fancy. But um, for like me, just like my quick and easy meals that like I'm, that are like a go-to and we probably have like once a week, once every two weeks or something. Um, that's going to be coming. But let me know what else you guys going to want to see. So I can switch it up and have vlog content, but also have like some of my regular normal videos. Because honestly, I do feel like that's a little like sparking my passion back up. I don't know. I'm a dork. I need a new one of these real bad. And we're going to pick one up today as well as so many other mascaras. And I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys' favorite mascara is down below. Are you a high-end mascara girl? Are you a drugstore mascara? I think they both have their place, but honestly, drugstore is where it's at. My favorite high-end mascara that I ever tried was um, Hourglass Caution. That's probably my favorite high-end mascara that I believe is worth is worth it if you're looking for a splurge, but but if you're not, this one so good. I've been using Grande Lash consistently, I would say, every pretty much every night um, for about two months now, honestly. And now I'm gonna start switching because I feel like I have the desired length that I want. Um, I really wish my they were thicker, but that might come with time. Um, but like, I'm not kidding. If you've struggled with like, or you want your lashes to be longer or whatever, or you just like, 
they need to rebound from like lash extensions or whatever grande lash is so freaking good it's worth the money it's worth the investment like i'm not kidding it's 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 really worth it so i will link that down below but i'm kind of i now i'm at that maintenance point where you don't need to put it on every night you need to put it on like once or twice a week um to continue to see the results um anyways that's the makeup for the day simple i mean it never changes i did throw on a wing today so who's she clearly me okay you guys i think it's gonna rain today which is such a bummer which means i'm gonna have to do like all of my walking on the treadmill today which i don't really prefer to do but if i do i put on like a 90 day fiance show <laughs> on discovery plus and just watch it are you one of those people who watches a video while you cardio you know what sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do because cardio is not that much fun and i don't enjoy hit workouts that much i i personally like to either lift weights or get my cardio in like a fun way like walking but anyways if y'all want to see more fitnessy sort of content no i'm not going to turn into like a fitness youtuber don't worry or maybe I, I don't, i'm just saying i'm not going to whether you want it or don't i'm not going to because i just feel like there are plenty more very educated <coughs> people Ooh, tickle my throat Anywho, I think that's all that I need to talk to you guys today about all the things, a little bit of everything. I love you guys so much. I love these videos. Again, they're never like revolutionary videos. They're just simply a chance for me to talk to you guys and have like girl chats, you know? So I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video.